goody, mi gente? It's Melanie Moves, and you're watching Black Dignidad, where we talk about everything that is Latino, but black as F. On today's episode, we're gonna cover something that everyone loves. Black, white, Latino, Asian, everyone loves music. So many of the very things that we love about Latin culture is at its root, black as <laughs> including the music. The current face of some of these music genres are generally not black and definitely adds to the erasure of its black roots. I mean, look around at any Latin award show. 90% of the honored artists are not black. That's a whole nother bag that we ain't gonna get into today. So like I was saying, all of these popular Latino music styles, salsa. Merengue. Bachata. Reggaeton. And even Vallenato and Cumbia have rich African roots. Some other Latin music styles with rich Afro influence are Samba, Bomba, Plena, Compa, Zouk, rumba, song, champeta, hungu hungu, candome, cueca, and those are just touching the surface of the many Afro-Latin music styles in Latin America. To be able to touch on the invisible black history of all our music would require a whole season, one episode per music style. And we'll get into them eventually, but today, let's focus on reggaeton. most popular faces associated with reggaeton today are J Balvin, Nicki Jam, and Bad Bunny, you can thank two black Panamanian men for the founding of the style and the sound. Those men are Nando Boom and El General. I vaguely remember my five-year-old self innocently rocking my hips at the family parties in the Bronx too. Dembo and Te Ves Buena. Y'all know what that rock was. You know, the little hands and the knees, you know, the dress going back and forth. And then they put me to bed at around 11 o'clock so that the, the adults could do the more adult hip rocking. <laughs> anyway, so other Panamanian pioneers of the style, then known as reggae en español, were Chicho Man, Black Apache, and Renato. The style then went to Puerto Rico where more hip hop and local influences on the music rhythms were added, specifically bomba, the Afro music of Puerto Rico. Even the name reggaeton came from the popularization of the music genre in Puerto Rico. Some of the most influential artists in reggaeton were black Latinos, Tego Calderon, Don Omar, Ivy Queen, and Don Chesina, to name a few. Today, we're interviewing reggaeton Mera and then Bolsera, Jen Morel. Jen Morel, ¿cómo está mi gente? ¿Cómo está, mami? Hello, que, mami, tú sabes a quién se envía. Super blessed to be here with you today, mami. Dime que lo que. All right, all right. You know what? Before we start the interview, I wanted to tell the audience how I met Jen. So, um, you may know, you may not know, I'm a professional dancer, and I was dancing with Ty we were on set for this music video. People don't know, but you be on set for music videos for hours, like 12 hours, right? So at this point, I have been dancing all day. They were like, hey, the models, we have them coming in a little later. We need you guys to stay late. I'm like, I was over it, B. I was in the makeup room, like, hurry up and wait, hungry, tired. Jen comes in, she sits in the makeup chair. As soon as she opens her mouth, I'm like, 
Oh my God. I got a homie up in here. New York in the building. I heard that straight up Dominican. I was like, mira, yo tengo familia. She literally re-energized me. And I was like, so happy to me here. We started talking. She's like, yeah, yo soy Dominican. I was like, duh. <laughs> yeah. After that, I followed her on social media. I realized she did music. So Jen, Jen, tell the audience a little bit about yourself, about where you come from, what you do, and, and your music. All right. So what's up, yes, girl, Jen Morel, Dominicana, Nazi de República Dominicana. I'm going to give you bilingual. Is that cool? Nah, go ahead, girl. We are here. And I see the Republica Dominicana. I migrated to uh, New York City when I was six years old. Um, ever since I was a little girl, music has always been a part of my life, a part of my family. I mean, tú sabes de, de cada semana, to, every weekend, todo el mundo se, se junta y es un merengue, una vaina y un. Uh. <laughs> so obviously, I come from a very, very happy family who loves to dance and who loves to be together. So um, at a very young age, I started uh, dancing. I started taking hip hop, you know, ballet, jazz, and all that great stuff. Um, and then as I got older, definitely, um, I think, well, no, I, I don't think I know modeling was definitely something I wanted to do. But I remember very specifically when I saw a girl on my 21st birthday at a club go-go dancing, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> and I fell in love. I fell in love. I started go-go dancing uh, after that. Definitely started modeling after that. Um, mm -hmm. Continued dancing. I was a dance teacher. That's all in New York City. And then seven years ago, I, I, I moved out here to L.A. Continue modeling. Um, I started doing comedy, did um, acting classes. And my love for music never left. And four years ago, I started making music. I told my team, I'm like, listen, y'all, anything I want to do, y'all know y'all got to help me out. So I'm, I, I love this music. I was definitely um, a little shy, not really, but I was timid. I'm on the ceiling. Obviously, coming from a very urban side, um, you know, modeling and you know the mo vixen and all that stuff. I didn't want people to judge me. People are gonna judge no matter what. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, um, especially when you come from, you know, New York, you're a little rough around the edges, and then all of a sudden you come into this world and they expect you to be something that you're not. You're like. You know what I'm saying? So definitely had my team. They they were so supportive from the from day one. Uh, started making music. I started what it what is called what it was called still called Flow Friday. Um, and that's right. where I started showcasing my my talent. I was very vulnerable to show my talent. Um, where I used to take a beat and then flow over it. Mm. Every Friday, I would give my fans on Instagram a show. I'm like, yo, what's up? This is Jim Morell. This is what I want to do. And I'm going to start from scratch. And I'm going to start it right in, few, in front of you guys. And um, Flow Friday lasted straight 35, 35 weeks straight. Um, and then my seventh week in doing the Flow Friday, me and my brother Joelli, who write all my songs together, me and him were like, listen, let's do something for the Dominican Republic. Let's mm. take that Dominican sound. Que el dembo, you know, so we, we search up a dembo online and we, we, you know, we did we did a flow for that flow Friday. Number seven, we did a flow and it just went viral. It went viral. I'm like, God, if you're talking to me, say something. He said, <laughs> si, senora. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, a week later, we finished the whole song. I did the choreo and we got my first single called Ponteme, which right now is 44 million views. It already has 44 million views. It's a platinum record in Italy. Nice. I've done I've done more than more than 10 uh, tours in Italy and Europe. Nice. Um, I got signed to Universal Latino. Um, and the rest is history, and I'm here with you now. <laughs> you know what? Give a little, give us a little flow from that first song. Like, give us a little, like, I don't know, give us a bar. So, yeah, go ahead. Whoa, esto comenzó. Esto es una vaina que me huele a cocoro. Prenda los motores, nos vamos los motocross. Toda la morena anda buscando todos los flows. Ma dice nada, cuidado, está caliente y de quema. Chedi moyu file, dale, sigue la cadena. Tengo lo que piden, tengo todas las cosas buenas. Tengo, tengo lo que piden, tengo todas las cosas buenas. Hey, come on. That's my baby, Ponte Me. That's so dope. I remember when that happened. I was like, is Jen going viral? Just going viral. I said, oh, it's lit. Just going viral. And I used to love your Flow Fridays because it was like such a shock. Because my Metro was a model, and then you did your Flow Fridays, and I was like, oh, she could spit. Like, she got a little 
a flow. So that's so dope. And it's so amazing how social media can do that. Like one day you just, you put it on, your, you know, your content on there. You just going through your journey. Next thing you know, boom, you viral. And then all these opportunities present itself because you sitting in, in, in your journey and you're appreciating that moment. And then, and then the blessings came. So yeah, you know, I'm a product of social media, man. Yeah. I think we all are in some ways. A little bit, a little bit, you know. I feel that, I feel that. Yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with social media. All right, so let's talk about what, uh, who are some of, like, your influences in, the, in your music? Like, what artists help influence your flow and your sound? Uh, definitivamente, off top, I'm going to say Daddy Yankee. Daddy Yankee, call me. He sabe, en toda la entrevista yo le digo que me llame porque me va a llamar. <laughs> Daddy Yankee, Daddy Yankee, definitivamente Daddy Yankee, Evie Queen, lo que es eh, Don Omar, eh, y obviamente el papá de esto que es all the way from, you know what it is. Let's go say it. Yes. <laughs> Boom, boom, mami, mami, mami. No, mamá, tu boom, 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 mami, mami, no ve. Mamá está, eh, te boom, boom, no me puedes matar, eh. El general, mi amor. El, el general. I was just talking about El general earlier on the show. Um, I was telling them how, like, when I was five years old at the little family parties and those, you know, you put your, you do your little five-year-old innocent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then when you, you go to sleep, it up a little bit. then the parents do the grown stuff to El, el general. <laughs> Pero El general definitivamente, obviamente, un pionero de, de lo que es el, 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 reg el reggaeton, lo que es el, el um, obviamente... Uh, yeah, reggaeton all the way from from Panama to now went to Puerto Rico. Now is in Colombia. I mean, you know, those influences come from reggae, you yeah. know, and he did that. He did that for the music, for the Spanish uh, music industry. And it changed everything, everything. It changed everything. Um, so now reggaeton is, is, is almost universal. Like at one point it was like I feel like reggaeton had like a pocket of, of popularity like in the 90s that was like super latino and then um then all of a sudden now it's it's pop reggaeton is pop like you see jay bobbin with with uh nikki minaj and you know what i mean and cardi b i mean cardi b's latina is great that she's jumping in on there and i think it's so so fire um how do you feel that your identity as like an afro latina as a woman and a black woman in the industry, um, how do you think it plays into your journey and, and your music? So it definitely um, plays an amazing, uh, it's definitely an amazing journey for me because si tu ves, estamos hablando anteriormente que en la industria latina no hay mujeres que se vean así. Mm -hmm. No hay mujeres morenita con, con curvas, mm -hmm. no hay mujeres con el afro. Obviamente, como estábamos hablando, eh, la música sí es latina, es bien blanquita, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yo creo que estamos en un tiempo muy bonito de donde se ve el poder latino y también el afro latino, mm -hmm. eh, dándole más luz a lo que es, oye... Los latinos nada más no se ven blanquitos. Los latinos somos diferentes colores. Sí, pero no, no hay latinos si no hay afro. Si no hay afro, definitivamente. So, yo soy una, una, una persona que quiero ser una líder en lo que es la mujer latina, afro latina, haciendo lo que es el reggaetón, lo que es el dembow, haciendo lo que es la música latina y enseñándole al mundo que nada más no somos blanquitos, porque a donde a, a muchos sitios que yo voy, especialmente aquí en California, me ven, obviamente, creen que yo soy una, una, una morena mix, mixta. ¿Verdad Ajá. que sí? They think I'm a mixed girl. And then sí. cuando yo hablo, obviamente, oh, Oh my God, you, you, oh my you're God. Spanish. You speak Spanish? Spanish? Claro, claro, yeah. yo soy dominicana. Y dicen, wow, <laughs> we had no idea that you was Dominican, that you can that you can be Dominican and look like that. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we have all shades and different colors. Yeah, so definitely. Um, it's definitely important for us, la mujeres que estamos haciendo música ahora, especialmente que nos vemos así, de representar esto con mucho orgullo y seguirle dando pela, porque obviamente tenemos que cambiar esa, 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 idea, yeah. esa idea de que, oh, no, son blanquitas. Todas son blanquitas. 
You know, de si tú eres así, tú eres morena o tú eres africana o tú eres, no, somos afro latina. Mm -hmm. Obviamente los esclavos vinieron a toda parte del mundo, incluyendo a las islas eh, dominicanas, puertorriqueñas, cubana, mm -hmm. panameña. Entonces es muy bonito para mí estar en esta posición afro latina, influyendo lo que es la música latina. That's amazing and I love to see it. I love to see it. That's what the show is about. Black Dignidad, we over here, we want to give everyone a a place to be, uh, to have space, to take up space, because for so many years, we've had to, uh, one, be the pioneers of a lot of these things, and then take a back seat when what is more digestible for popular culture is, is a white Latino. So I think it's really dope that we having this opportunity now to highlight you and, and other artists, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you. So now, what do you have for us? Like, what new music is coming up for you? And um, tell us more about, like, where you think that your music is going. All right, so right now, I, I actually released my first album in, August, in uh, October. It's called Gem Morale, of course. Para el que no sabe, ya sabe. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces, <laughs> um, so uh, that was really exciting for me. Uh, mi primer álbum con la casa disquera. Mm -hmm. eh, eso es ya calentando los motores. Prendan los motores. <laughs> Oh, so, calentando los motores, motores, yeah, motores. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. calentando los motores, obviamente. Eh, pero ahora estoy en, en el proceso de, de ahora completar mi segundo disco con la casa disquera. Y ahora estoy mm -hmm. eh, haciendo música. Estoy todo, todo, todos los días estoy en el estudio, escribiendo, um, haciendo música. Y, pero viene una canción, también trabajo con Zumba. You know, I love Zumba. Shout out to my Zumba hey, people. Zumba. They're Zumba. so amazing. So I have a single coming out with Zumba um, in mm -hmm. April. So I'm really excited about that. It's, all I can say is called Quema. 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 Caliente, que va a quemar todo lo que tiene en el camino, mi amor. Todo. <laughs> So I'm really excited about that. So I'm working on that right now, uh, besides being in the studio every day and creating music every day. Um, and this is a fun process for me because I get to make probably a hundred songs and then I have to narrow it down to 12, 12 and 10. Or, yeah, and it's hard, but I it's, you know, imagine. it's really hard. Um, and it is literally a, a process of elimination and like going back and I'm like, no, I like this and I like this. Um, uh, but, um, I see my music, uh, Touching the world, of course, it already has. Um, I see my music definitely uh, being a part of something bigger, lo que es el movimiento, como dije, Daddy Yankee, Ivy Queen, asociarme con esas personas que son pioneros, las personas que me influyeron a ser la artista que hoy en día soy. Y, y nada, me veo eh, bailando. Así que tú vas a bailar conmigo, tú me vas a saber, Melanie. Yo, <laughs> call me, girl. I don't need any excuse to dance. I'll wake up in the morning dancing. Dale, lo que es, obviamente, eh, el, el, los premios, todos los premios, Grammy, Billboard, ahí que yo quiero llevar mi música, quiero llevar a mi música a, a esos medios para seguir influyendo no solamente a las mujeres afro-latinas, pero a las mujeres del mundo que quieren hacer lo que quieren hacer y que no tengan miedo a hacerlo, a hacer ellas mismas mm -hmm. a través de su música, si es la música que le gusta o lo que le guste. Mm -hmm. Nice. I was going to ask you, like, You know, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap the interview up, and I was gonna ask you, you know, put forth a message that you want the world to hear. But I, I think that was perfect what you just said. <laughs> I think that is a perfect message to the world to make sure that you you put forth what it is that you are. You are proud of who you are, and you make sure that you show yourself to the world without shame. Amen. And don't take no for an answer. Ever. Ever. And Ever. shine with your own light. Because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, you know, you have to understand you're not here competing with anybody else, but with yourself. You know, Just and that so. people don't see the vision for you. You got to see the vision for yourself. And if you don't Absolutely. see that vision for yourself, it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. You can't rely on somebody else's vision. I have an amazing team, but if I don't help my team visualize what I want for myself, they can't help me excel in life because it's a group. You know, you got to bring it together. You got to bring exactly what you visualize and believe in it. And it's okay. You're going to have your bad days and good days. But hey, that's life. And never get discouraged uh, because somebody said no, but they don't believe in exactly. your vision. This is, this is the industry <laughs> of no's. If you can't take no at some point, you're never going to hear your yes. So you definitely got to. And, and, and it only takes one yes. Only takes one, one yes. Only takes seven weeks into Flow Friday. 
to get that opportunity to put your voice out to the world. So, yo, I just want to congratulate you on everything that you're doing. I'm excited to see where your journey goes. Uh, why don't you tell the audience and everyone, where, where can we find you? Where can we find your music? All right, y'all. Y'all know what it is, my girl. My, I say my girl, but my girl Melanie is lit today. <laughs> Uh, you can find me in all digital platforms, Jen Morrell, Spotify, look at it, uh, Apple Music, Tidal. Um, on Instagram, you can follow me at Jen Morrell. Uh, and yeah, search me up, YouTube, all that great stuff, Jen Morrell. Jen Morrell. All right, baby girl. Yo, para la cultura siempre, te amo. Y llámame, vamos a hablar. Un besito, mi amor, te quiero muchísimo. Super proud, of, super proud of you as well to keep pushing this amazing platform. Um, que necesitamos más mujeres así con, con, con ese poder que tú tienes para seguir echando esta vaina para arriba. Te quiero mucho, te amo, mi amor. Un besito. Y oye, vamos a bailar en el mundo entero. Vamos a bailar, vamos a bailar, vamos a gozar. <laughs> te quiero muchísimo. Melanie, un beso. All right, guys, and that was Jen Morel. As you can see, she's huge personality and she's bringing us so much flavor, so much love. Definitely check her out at Jen Morel on all platforms. And thank you for tuning in to Black Dinidad.